Hola, my wonderful wizardy friends. I have recently been finding out about this amazing new site in the Ukraine that they have discovered that contains proto-Sumerian cuneiform text. So, you know, Western historians wish us to believe that Sumeria is the earliest civilization, once thought to be mythical, but now is proven to be factual. Um, a civilization as in they used writing, obviously, you can't have a civilization without writing. And uh, But now it seems that, well, that's not true. So we now have the Ukrainian site. It's not getting much airtime. And of course, it's not really being put out there in the mainstream media, um, but it's very interesting. And their Proto-Sumerian language, 30,000 years BC, actually, is talking about, guess what? Oh, our good old friends, the Anunnaki. Praising the Anunnaki. There are none higher than the Anunnaki. I mean, honestly, what? who were these Anunnaki and what was going on back then? It's fascinating. And then, of course, you've got the Bosnian pyramids, haven't you? So I wonder if the two sites are somehow connected and will they discover some connection with those two sites? Um, it seems to me that wherever you had the Anunnaki, you had these pyramids. And not to mention that you had those uh, 100,000 years uh, BC gold mines that were found in South Africa, you know, amongst the mountains and stuff. So it all seems to be fitting together nicely. Um, whether or not they've actually ever found Anunnaki bodies, maybe they have, maybe they haven't. I do remember seeing in... Um, in some videos recently that they'd found the giants, those giants in stasis in Iran. And I have to admit, to me, those videos, they looked um, pretty realistic. I, I didn't really have a doubt in my mind that we were looking at something real when it came to the giants in Iran. And they had all that, that fascinating kind of gold jewelry, which was probably some actual sort of technology. And I imagine that that's where we got our, um, our, uh, our ritual, shall I say, of uh, covering ourselves with, you know, stuff like this, like jewellery, crowns and uh, bracelets and all this stuff. Like, I believe that that was originally technology because they all had these things, gold with stones. So I do believe that they were using that for something and that, that we were just emulating what we saw in our gods when it came to the jewellery. So yeah, it's all very interesting. Um, onwards and upwards with the forbidden archaeology. I just, I can't wait. I wish I had a time machine so I could get back there and have a look. So I, I do know that in the Ukraine and in Siberia, they have some very ancient um, shamanic traditions. And uh, I mean, people are saying this Ukrainian site is the ancient Arata civilization, as mentioned in the Sumerian epic stories. But, you know... That's debatable. Some people are saying, well, actually, that was Iran. Some people are saying that's the Ukraine. We'll see. You know, we will see. But yeah, I mean, the Anunnaki, they seem to have been present from at least 30,000 uh, years BC, if not before with these uh, gold mines. I mean, but we can't prove that that was Anunnaki yet, but, you know, it certainly seems that way. Up until the biblical times of the flood and the more recent... Uh, stories that we have so it's very funny how they were there some of them or the, these are uh, offspring of them or giants the nephilim as they get called were somehow wiped out and then their spirits got trapped here and then suddenly we have these new abrahamic religions you know that uh, appeared whereas we no longer see our gods and interact with them but they're somehow like up there in spirit form and we now interact with them you know call me <laughs> odd but I, I see these uh, Jehovah's, Allah's type characters, Yahweh characters, as being the souls, the souls of the Nephilim or the souls of Anunnaki that may have been killed here during a, a war, a flood, a cataclysm, and are now on the astral plane, and that that's actually who people are praying to, and that a lot of these are so-called prophets and scribes of the gods were no more than just people that were bringing through uh, information from these now dead <laughs> and floating around the astral plane nephilim and uh, anunnaki so that's my spin on it you know you, you probably have your own spin on it that's my spin on it and um, as you may notice i actually have some ukrainian blood in me so this story fascinates me even more 
And uh, yeah, I, I hope to actually travel to some of these sites at some point. So when I do, I will document that on this channel. So yeah, I mean, I have more interesting plans for the future. As soon as I become a bit more mobile uh, with my little girl uh, getting a bit older and going to school and stuff, um, I, I plan to actually travel to some of these sites and document it for you guys at home because I find it fascinating. I really want to visit some of these pyramids that they found, um, like the one in Bosnia and some other other places. And I, I even think I found a hidden pyramid when I was on holiday in Indonesia, I was sitting on an island called Gili Air. So it's Gili, G-I-L-I, -I, and it's spelled like Air, A-I-R, but it's pronounced Gili Air. It's in Indonesia, and it's opposite Lombok, which is a, um, a Muslim island, but it's not very um, built up, and it's covered in lush jungle. And if you sit on one of the beaches in Gili, and you look over to Lombok, you will see that there's this massive pyramid shape right near the edge of the island looking out to the sea so facing you you can see it at a distance perfect pyramid shape but just covered in jungle and lush green vegetation now i i personally think that if you were to look under there you would find a pyramid hiding right there but you know it's a kind of a bit of a wild island um so they probably don't take too kindly to foreigners coming up, coming digging up their uh, island looking for uh, <laughs> pyramids. So yeah, we'll, we'll we'll see if I'm right. Maybe if anyone goes there, they can have a look and tell me. So I love you guys. I'll leave you with those wonderful thoughts. Keep manifesting wonderful things today, and uh, yeah, one love. <laughs>